9 News continues with John Matarese. And don't waste your money. It's happening to more and more of us in today's troubled economy. You receive a threatening call or letter saying you owe money. And if you do nothing, the calls get more frequent and more nasty to the point of harassment. Are they allowed to do this? And how can you stop them? The calls come at all hours of the night. And people say the messages are crossing the line. One new message. I am like right now climbing into your family background. I am going to dig up so deep. Every week I hear from Nine News viewers fending off debt collectors. Denise Blonder is a law-abiding Cincinnati mom, but she tells me one day... I got a letter saying I owed somebody $520. Mike Vegetes is a Northern Kentucky businessman who tells me he's never fallen behind either, but... I had a call claiming I owed some bill. The tactics and the abuse is getting worse. Attorney Billy Howard has filed dozens of lawsuits against debt collectors for using what he calls are harassing or abusive methods. Among them, calls like this one allegedly on behalf of the car seller, J.D. Byrider. I'm going to have to take it to a different level. This message was left for a woman who was late on her car payment. I'm going to turn it up a notch. I'm going to have to put this car on TV as being missed, which I can do. I can go on cable and do that. That's going to embarrass the daylights out of you. It's going to embarrass the daylights out of your mom. And I think you got kids, too, if I'm not mistaken. One of Billy Howard's lawsuits was filed on behalf of Diane McLeod, whose husband Stanley was behind on the mortgage. Stanley explained he had heart problems and had to be rushed to a hospital by a helicopter. The collector's alleged response? Stanley McLeod, you just call Green Tree and get your act together and make your payments on your mortgage to play these games. Why don't you have that helicopter pick you up and bring that payment to the office? A game? Four months later, Stanley was dead. So what are your rights? Consumer advocates say debt collectors can't harass or lie, can't present themselves as attorneys, can't call before 8 a.m. or after 9 p.m. unless you agree, and can't call once you write telling them to stop. And that's the key, sending them a letter, certified mail. This website, FairDebtCollection.com, has sample phone scripts and letters for you to use if a collector calls. If you don't take action, you can end up like Kelly Cassidy in tears. All I can do is try to correct them. And it's hard to do it when you have someone that just, just doesn't care, doesn't want to help you, and that's how I felt. A spokesman for Green Tree Servicing says they don't comment on pending lawsuits, and J.D. Byrider did not make any comment either. Now, you can find more about your rights, including a link to that helpful website where there's phone scripts and letter scripts. All you have to do is check out my Don't Waste Your Money webpage at WCPO.com.